Hey, this is Steve at Chief Skills, and I saw this right here um, by Kelly Gruno. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your right your name right, Kelly. He's wondering how to create this material, and really, unless you have a custom material, maybe you can find something on the net and use it as a material to create your wall type. I think the best way to do this is wall with wall material regions, and let me show you why. Moldings are just way too cumbersome, so. Let's take a look at this video I put together and see what you think. Okay, this is Steve with Chief Skills, and I've got this little house here, and I'm going to show you how to do this siding. It's really fairly simple. The first thing I would do is, well, I want to just say one thing moldings is a possibility but it's very time consuming so if you get the outside room here see how i've selected that and you make a molding polyline it's going to put it at zero and one of the problems is well it breaks at doors but it will not break at windows so if you went in here and you added a new like dash 001 and you added a molding here and made it say 0.75 by 4 okay I would uncheck that and you take a look at it in overview it would probably start to do the job uh, I mean you could then click here and use multiple copy and say okay and then well no you can't but I, I would use transform replicate and I would make, say, I don't know, 16 copies at 4.75. Say, OK, there you go. The problem is it doesn't cut them at the windows. And each one of these would be an individual molding. You'd have to break and move into position. It, it's kind of a pain. Uh, it works at doors, but it just doesn't automatically seem to work at windows. So anyway. Moldings is an option, um, and there may be a way to make it work, but I think it's too time consuming. So what I would do is I would just change this wall. And the first thing I would do is create a new wall type and copy this and say, so you don't lose your siding for, I would just say custom, ship, lap, whatever. And what I would do here is change this to... Um, a wood material so I'll just go right here to the core catalog and find wood and then let's just find hickory and let's just use hickory knotty okay and let's make it three quarters of an inch thick and let's just take a look at that and it's going the wrong direction and so if you the really the smart way to do this actually is to make a copy of this material. So if you go here, select material and then click plan materials and find it, copy it and call it. I put a colon and just put it siding dash 90. OK, and then on the texture tab, rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. Click OK. So there you go. And let's make this wall here the same siding, a wall type. Let's just make it right there. And it's using the original material. So if we open this, define this here, define this here, and make it use the 90, then all our walls will do that. There you go. So that's the the beginnings now how do you get the grooves well to get the grooves i would use a wall material region and i'm just going to take a section right here through and then i'm going to make a cad detail from view and i am going to go one two which is my hot key i'm just going to make a polyline right here all right and it doesn't matter the details at the moment let's just Click here, click here and make it 0.75. And then let's click here and make this four and then hit this little symbol right here to move the entire polyline. 
and then we will control C, go back to our elevation, use control alt V and paste and that's paste and hold position. Use your little magic wand tool down here and convert it to a material region. And then let's just get rid of what I got here, which is normally a tile backsplash and just make it color black. You can change the color anytime. And let's make it 0.625 thick and let it cut the finished layers of the parent object. OK. And then we can um, there. While it's still selected, I unclicked it. But if you have it still selected, make it 4.75 right here. General objects and just pull it up. And then if we look at it in overview, there is your custom ship lap material and siding. And it is grooved. I mean, if you look at it in 3D, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there are grooves cut into the see it right there. And um, so that looks pretty good. In fact, you could actually, you know, change this material to something that's more wood like if you wanted to um, go to library and man, let's just since it landed right here. Let's use that. Do your scoping tool right here. Hit plan and just paint it. And you can make it a wood material. I'm going to leave it black because it's easy to see. And in vector view, you'll see the lines. And even in line drawing view, it looks really good. So um, that is how I would do that siding. I think it's the fastest way. Material regions will cut through window openings. Let's let's do this end so you can just see. Let's go back to standard view. Again, take a section elevation right through here. And then do a CAD detail from view. And in this case, now we have these grooves. So let's go one, two. That's my hotkey for a polyline. Let's just do this. Snap it to there. Pull it over. To here. Control C. Go back to the elevation view. Go Control Alt V. While it's still selected, use your little magic wand tool and make it a material region. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete that. We'll start over. Let's go back to our full overview here. Select this. And then come down here and see this little wrench icon. Make it the default. Makes our life a lot easier. So let's go back here to our CAD detail from view and control C. Back to our section elevation. Control Alt V for paste and hold position. Convert it to a material region. And it is the black. And just as we saved it, click OK. Then use your multiple copy. It's already set. Just pull it up. Just like that. And you are done. You have got yourself a shiplap kind of custom. And it looks really good in all views. I, I don't think material regions work very well on the corners. Um, so if you have a problem with that, you can just put a uh, corner board on there and cover it. So that is how I would do that ship lap siding. I hope this video helps. And if you have any comments, leave them. And maybe uh, maybe I'm not thinking of something, but line drawing looks really good. So uh, I think that's an easy way to do that siding. And you can play around with the materials and come up with all sorts of different things. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be four inches. It can be six inches or whatever. So hope that helps. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out my YouTube page, Chief Skills, and uh, subscribe. What can I tell you? Thanks for watching. See you later.